Guys, in this video, we are going to look at how we can build a fully functional forms in React JS using Tailwind CSS. This form is going to have all the required validations for each and every field that requires to be validated on the front end. When I say fully functional, I actually mean that you will actually be able to submit this form for which we are going to be using forms API to complete all the integration. Just a quick note here, I'm not going to be designing this form from from scratch we are going to be using forms api which provides the pre-existing templates and react components that we can use to quickly implement fully functional forms in our react applications before we start building this form please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so So guys, I have a fresh React application running here and I already have set up a Tailwind CSS in this application. If you want to know how to set up a Tailwind CSS in your React application from scratch, I'm going to be leaving a link to another video in the description. So in this video, we are going to be building this form using forms API. So here in the browser, I'm just going to open a link that is apiforms.com. I'm going to be leaving a link to this API in the description. So here on apiforms.com, basically we will be able to find the pre-built form components that are already integrated with this API. And we can straight away use those components into our application, which is going to make it very easy to implement any kind of form that we want to implement in our application so here in the forms api i'm just going to get started for free and i can go to the dashboard so this is going to take me to the login screen so i'm just going to log into this api using my google account so i'm just going to expand the screen so we can see it very clearly so once you have logged into the api you are going to be landing on this dashboard here here under the settings basically you have to subscribe to the starter plan to be able to use this api i have already done that so i'm already subscribed to this api on a starter plan and here on the dashboard once i'm subscribed i'll be able to see the number of submissions that i will be able to make through that form i'll be able to access my api keys here here under the templates I, i'll be able to find some pre-built forms that i can use directly in my application so there are different kinds of forms it depends on what kind of form you are building if you are not able to find a form that you want to build you can also go and create a custom template for the form and you can create a custom form so in the custom form you can actually define what fields are going to be there in the form and it's going to generate the react component accordingly so i'm just going to try and build the custom form here so let's build a custom contact form and i can mention the description also as a custom contact form this form is going to have name as a field which is going to be required it's also going to require an email of the user so you can choose a different data type for the different fields so for the email i'm just going to be choosing email that is going to be required and i'm going to add it to the form and the third field that we are going to need is a message and i'm going to be choosing text area for the message and the message is going to be required and we are going to add this field to the form and save this template so when you create this template, this is going to actually generate a code for React.js component based on whatever fields you have defined in the form. So basically to use this form, I'm just going to copy this code from here. So here in my React application, I'm just going to put this code for custom contact form that I copied from apiforms.com. As of now, our React application is just a fresh hello world application and we have already installed Tailwind CSS in this application. So I'm just going to replace this hello world component with a component that I copied from the forms API. And here I'm just going to refresh my application. So now you can see that we already got a form here, which is named as a custom contact form. And it's already having all the functions and all the integration that needs to be required for this API to work. And here in the handle submit function, we can see that it's making some API calls to submit the form. And we already got our API keys pre-filled here in the component. And there is a form ID, 
which is basically this form id that we can see here and this is going to allow us to submit the form so our form is basically ready in the application if i try to submit this this is going to have all the validations in place and now i'm just going to enter all the information that we need to enter let's say name is abc abc at gmail.com and we can type some message and we can straight away submit this form and this is going to submit the form so now the information that we have submitted we should be able to see it here in the dashboard so i'll, I'll just open the dashboard here and here in the navigation bar i'll just go to the submissions and here under the submissions i'm able to see the form that i've submitted and if we look at the code that forms api has provided us it's basically using all the tailwind css classes so, so i can make any customizations to this form because it's technically built with tailwind css if you found a value in this video leave a like subscribe to the channel and leave your queries in the comments i'll see you in the next one